Well, good morning, welcome to another video. So, what's this one about? Well, it's not your average video, but with my videos, that could mean, in other words, I'm not catching any fish, because that's an average video for me for 2023. But, I decided that today's my day of fishing, normally. Um, and I, to be fair, I could have gone fishing. But I decided today to go and have a look at some waters instead. So I got my Farnham angling uh, ticket through with my key and everything. I spoke to the secretary and asked, you know, can, am I allowed to go and have a look around these uh, lakes and whatnot before my ticket starts? It starts on the 1st of April, which is, is it a week today? Yeah, I think it's a week today. Uh, but next weekend's my wife's birthday, so I won't be fishing. Um, so the weekend after that is when I'm going to actually start my um, my Farnham Angling adventure. So I thought I'll go and have a look at a couple of lakes, you know, see if I can gauge how busy they get. You know, I've got not got up early. It's I don't even know where the time is in this car. Where is the time in this car? Oh, there. <laughs> um, it's 20 past nine, so it's by no means early. Um, so it's a good time, you know, most people would have arrived at the lake by now, so it'd be quite handy to go and see. Um, and the lakes that I wanna fish as well. I'm not gonna go mad because, you know, I don't think I'd ever get around all the lakes and rivers that are on this, um, on this ticket in one session. So I'm just gonna pick a few really and have a have a look. I'm gonna start on the Badshot Lee complex. So you've got Badshot Lee Big Pond, Badshot Lee Small Pond, and I think one called King's Pond, I think. Something like that. So there's three lakes within sort of right next to each other. So I thought I'd have a look at those first. So yeah, join me when we get there. We'll have a look. <laughs> so windy oh my god what a beautiful lake this uh, big pond is absolutely stunning so I've just been I've been chatting to a few people as I've been walking around and um, god that wind and um, yeah it seems like a good a good one but not huge fish it's not mid 20s I think but Lovely, lovely looking lake, really blue colour. Now behind me as well here, I think this is the one called King's Pond. More of a match venue, I believe. Let's try and walk around and get out of the wind a bit. My list because so I quite like a mixed mixed bag kind of fishery. Let's have an actually little quick look at King's Pond. Uh, so yeah, King's Pond it's got crucians, tench, roach, roach bream, hybrids. So yeah, there's a few. I think it'd be a nice um, feeder fishing venue. That's what I thought. I mean, it's not a single person fishing it at all. A bad shot Lee Lake behind me, big lake, is busy, like really busy. There's a little few, fair few swims still. I've walked past six or seven swims already, uh, not being fished at all. So there's room, and even on a Saturday, you know, I wouldn't say the weather's awful about the wind. But, um, 
Um, yeah, I think during the warm months it'll probably get really busy. But let's uh, let's have a oh, let's have a walk a bit further around. I don't know if you can see behind me there in the water. Right. Where's the camera? Right there. There are swim markers. So you can um, so you can kind of see your boundaries where you can fish to, which is quite handy. Oh, this wind. Oh, there's another car park here. Yeah, that's enough of that. This lake is very, very open. So, ridiculously windy. So I'm going to head back to the car and uh, see, see where else to go. lovely looking lakes and one thing I have noticed now I was a little worried about the Farnham I must admit um you know you hear in the past or I heard in the past that it was you know it could be very clicky you know you'll get blanked 90% of the time when you try and speak to people I mean I don't know if that happens on any of the lakes here but I've I've walked around you know part of Bad Shot Lee big lake and small lake I've spoke to about five or six different people and they're all really nice. Spoke to a bailiff as well just now. He was making some recommendations. Yeah, really, really nice so far. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look. So the bailiff recommended Warren Pond, if I like my, um, was it Tarn Pond? It was one of the, it was either Warren or Tarn Pond, but they're both next to each other. So I'm going to go and have a look um, for sort of all round fishing. So Tarn Pond, it's about 10 minutes away from here. Uh, so what's it got? What's Tarn Pond got in it? <clears throat> okay, so Tarn Pond, I imagine, is also favoured with the uh, with carp spe specimen carp fishing because the carp go up to forty one pound, but lots of twenties. You know, bream from four to seven pound average. Cruising carps to three pound plus, and eels, big eels to six pound. So I'm happy with that. And then Warren Pond, uh, Warren Pond, so plenty of carp up to 20 pound, bream average in five pound, roach, rudd and pike, plus the occasional tench and eels. So that sounds good too. So I'm gonna go and have a look at these two. And one of the other, um, one of the members I was speaking to just now, he recommended uh, Stillwater. So I'm gonna go and have a look at those two lakes at Stillwater. So, but first, I'm going to go and have a look at Warren and Tarn Pond. Then, then we'll go from there. We'll go see what it's like. Hopefully, the weather holds. It's looking a bit dark now. It's still very windy, but well, we'll go and have a look. We'll go and have a look. So I'll see you when we get there. Right. So I think that this behind me here is Warren Pond. I believe. Trying to work it out on the map. Looks like Warren Pond. So this is the one that has yeah, plenty of carp up to 20. Bream averaging five pound, roach, rudd, pike, tench, and a few eels. And over behind me there, I think that is the, the little path I can see on here. And then you get to Tarn, which I think I could see through the bushes over there but this looks a lovely lake i just can't work out how to get over there because it uh, kind of ends behind me there so i'll have to have a little walk around but let's let's check out a few swims on here because it does look absolutely beautiful as beautiful as it looks <clears throat> i 
think this would be more a day fishing one for me, only because it's fairly open access. Anyone can walk around here. I don't know if I'd night fish here. I mean, we are in Surrey, so should be okay, but it's a lovely, lovely looking lake. Fancy bit of feeder fishing on here. So that's Tarn. No, that's not, it's not Tarn, that's Warren. That's Warren Pond. Let's go and have a look at Tarn. So I think I'm walking down towards Tarn. Again, it looks, it looks to be very open. You know, you can just walk in and out by the look of it. But I have, I haven't used a key to get to where I am. Again, another, you know, Warren Pond was a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It was definitely the right place, it had Farnham angling, um, like signage everywhere. So this one, let's have a look at the book. Get it on the right page, shall we? So Tarn Pond must be on this side. Dam either end looks about right. Not 100 percent sure I'm on the right place, you know, this... I can't see any swims. At all, I can't see any Farnham signage on here. At all. Doesn't look right. <clears throat> no, something's not right here. I feel like I've been walking too long for this to be Tarn Pond, and there's no signage anywhere to show that this is a Farnham water, and there's no no swims really. Let's go and have another look. Maybe I was looking at Tarn Pond just now and that leads on to Warren Pond. So let's um let's go and have a gander. Should have done that to start with. I'll just Google mapped it. So yeah, so the big lake that I was looking around to start with is Tarn. So I'm on the other side of it now. So this big long lake here. So this is Tarn Pond. So this one is the one that has big carp to over 40 pounds in here there's no one fishing it though that i've seen so far so, there's also some decent sized cruisian carp in here over three pounds look very nice. 
maybe we'll continue to walk along here and see if we can find Warren, because we haven't seen that one yet. It's a lot of walking. <clears throat> well, it's a very muddy walk. Had a hell of a lot of rain recently. Don't know why I'm trying to avoid it. Oh, I am wearing wellies. Oh, it's nice to be out though. A bit of sun coming through. In with the nature. Very good. Good for the soul. Well, first problem, cyclists love it through here. So, have to contend with that, so make sure when you're uh, in your swim, you haven't got loads of gear poking out everywhere. Definitely gonna do maybe a day session here. I think it lends itself to night fishing with those big carp, but I don't know if I want to do a night. We'll see. Right, I could finally see Warren. So this is the little, the little path that runs between them, which I thought was on the other side, which happened to be a road, and I had the lakes around the wrong way. So. This one is gated to a degree. So yeah, there's a little path that goes between. Behind me here is the gate. I mean, it's, it's not exactly tall. It's actually really busy so I didn't really film along it but it's a thin lake you can only fish from this bank by the sounds of it all the fish hug the far bank so fishing without a boat is quite tricky it's very shallow about three foot going down to about two foot at the other end but no one seems to be catching on here and I've just found out it was me thinking that Tarn Lake was a uh, you know, nice and quiet. That's because it has a close season. Right, let's try and get out of this gate. Yeah, so, Tom Pond is very quiet because it's shut. Because there's a, a brook or a little river that flows into it at one end. It has a close season. Which is why Warren is so busy. I think I'll have a look at still water lakes. See what they look like. And then that'll probably be it. Well, I'll have a, look, I'll have a little look in the book when I get back to the car. And then uh, make a decision. But these two, lovely. Oh, got to get my steps up today. Would help if I went the right direction to start with. <laughs> oh, I'd love you look around some lake called Cuttle Cut Mill Lake, I think it's called. But it's completely private. Nothing to do with Farnham Angling. So, um, yeah, so that's Warren and Tarn. Uh, both look very good. I think, obviously, Tarn Lake's closed. There's, a, there's the normal close season on it. By the sounds of it, it does get very busy. Warren Lake... Um, kind of I don't know if it appeals to me I think it'll be very tricky by the sounds of it without a bait boat and it's very shallow so um yeah but I think I might give Tarn a go I, you know all the people that I spoke to again lovely people um really helpful um on Warren said that Tarn 
you know, they all night fish it. They never have any problems at all. So, yeah, I think it'll be all right. And I, also, I think in the when it's open and it'll be warmer months, I think there'll be so many anglers around it at night that, you know, you'll, you'll be lucky to get any problems, you know, unlucky to get any problems, however you want to look at it, because there's so many people. You know, the swims are not miles apart, so if something's happening, you know, I'm pretty sure the other anglers will be there to help anyway. So, where am I going to go? So I've decided not to go to Mill Lane. Uh, not Mill Lane. That's another one of the lakes. Uh, I was going to go to... Where was I going to go to? I completely forgot now. Stillwater. I was going to go to the two lakes at Stillwater. Um, but I think I'm going to go to... I've completely lost it now. So I'm going to avoid the Yateley complex for the minute. Um, just because I'm not going to be fishing that yet. Um, so there's still water. Where's Stockbridge? So Stockbridge Lake is the one I'm going to go and have a look at. Because it sounds quite interesting. But I can't find it in my book. Lodge Pond is another one. But that's on Alice Holt. It sounds quite tricky to get in. Why can't I find it? All right, let me find it quickly. Okay, so Stockbridge. I'm going to look at two more lakes. Stockbridge Pond, which I think is not too far from here. Then I'm going to look at one called Witch, Winchfield Court Farm Pond, which is on my way back, I assume, because it's an RG postcode. And if it's in Winchfield, then it's kind of, I'd imagine, Hartley Whitney sort of way. And that one sounds really interesting. But Stockbridge, so... Stockbridge has got, you know, tench, plenty of tench between one and three pound, but go up to seven and a half. You've got brown goldfish and cruising carp. So those two might be quite tricky to tell the difference between them. I've caught plenty of cruising carp. I've caught plenty of brown, brown goldfish as well. So um, hopefully it'll be okay. And then roach and rudd and perch as well. So that sounds like it would be quite a nice little, uh, quite a nice little lake that. I say little, I've said little about them all so far, and um, Warren and Tarn are definitely not little, especially Tarn, it's a big lake, you know, sizable, really, compared to what I'm used to. So, um, yes, so let's head to Stockbridge Pond and have a gander. Stockbridge Lake behind me. Another long, fairly thin lake. Beautiful looking, really, really nice. Right on the edge of a golf course, which is on the on the other side there. But absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. This kid is a this <laughs> this is a contender for my first lake to fish in a couple of weeks time I think looks like I don't know you can go through by the look of it there is swims on the other side in the flight path of uh, Farnborough Airport obviously there's a private jet going overhead so yeah this one's got a lovely uh, sort of stock so we got yeah we've got yeah, this is the more cruising carbs, tench, brown goldfish, perch, roach and rad. So I'll take a feeder. Would be a good tactic. You've got these little islands that seem to run along the middle, which would be good holding areas. Oh yeah. Another lovely looking lake. Plenty of room. It's not very busy at all. I think it's three people fishing. Very clear. Sort of a brown tinge. Yeah. Yeah, this one looks good, I think. It does look good. 
Oh, well, that was an absolute touch. So I didn't do much video in around it. There's a few people. I don't like to disturb people too much. It's fine if you're sat in a swim and you can uh, just stick your phone on a tripod next to you. But when you're walking around, uh, it's a little bit different. But... But <laughs> just so happened that one of the people there was the head bailiff for the area and also the fishery manager for the whole of Farnham Angling. So I had a yeah bloody good chat with him for like half an hour or so. I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. I think I'm going to start here at Stockbridge because it just looks lovely. There's loads of nice tension here. So, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to start here in a couple of weeks' time. But yeah, I just found out loads of information, you know, just how much stocking they do for all the uh, all the lakes. A hell of a lot, a hell of a lot. And there's so many waters. And um, I just can't, I just can't wait at all. So I'm going to go now and have a look at Winchfield. That's going to be my last little one of the day. Um, he says it's very underfished a lot of the time. It can be tricky. But I want to have a go on the surface here in the warmer months. Because there's koi to over 32 pounds in there. <laughs> Imagine a koi that big, my God. But right, let's get cracking. Get to that one and see what it looks like. Oh, look at that blue skies behind me. Absolutely lovely. So, last lake I'm going to look at today, or pond. This one is Winchfield Farm Pond was a little bit harder to find than the other ones. Um, there wasn't really any signage on the outside gate. It's on the inside gate. I drove past it to start with. The only thing that I thought kind of made me think that this might have been the place was there was a, uh, a couple of portaloos in the, top, in, the uh, in the car park. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going. It seems to be on the other side of this this um, field, I think. There's no cars in the car park. So, I assume there's nobody here. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going. Don't know if I go, there's another gate here. I assume I go through this gate and, and down. It's not something somewhere you'd want to take a hell of a lot of stuff, that's for sure. It's a bit of a bit of a wonder, but well it looked pretty good, I mean in the book. So again, where were we? Where's where's Witchfield? Pretty windy. That's Tarn Pond, Warren Pond. You would think it would be here. So Winchfield Court Farm Pond. Right, so there's a little little gate here <coughs> with a what looks like a Farnham Angling. Common ghosts to thirty pound, mirror ghost koi to thirty two pound, uh, carp to six mirror carp between eleven and fourteen pound, plus small carps. Also silverfish, roach, rudd, perch, bream, crucians, tench. And uh, when I was speaking to the fishery manager. He was quite keen if I fished it to get a kind of a report because I can only assume not many people fish it. Okay, so fishing only from designated swims out of bounds. So I think that way is out of bounds. So yeah, so it's a lovely little pond. It's got a little bridge going over it there. Lovely little place. 
this. Look at this. There's a frog spawn. Lovely. How hard it would be to fish. There's fox spawn everywhere, in fact, in the margins. How hard it would be to fish, I don't know. Doesn't sound like it's got a huge head of carp, but I reckon in the summer months of an evening or something after work, this is the kind of place that I would come to and uh, see if you can get one off the top because the good thing about koi is they give them away give themselves away quite easily so um yeah well i can't walk around much further because as you can see it's very flooded it's actually a little river that runs down just down there little little brook so there's no point in walking around the whole thing. It does look a lovely little place. You can see the little islands behind me there. Really, really nice. So I think I might try surface fishing this one in the summer. So that's gonna be it for the day. Obviously there's no fish, but to be honest, this kind of thing, walking around lakes, especially on the, when they're new and it's a new permit, I could, I could happily do this. For days on end I love looking at lakes I'm just walking around them I've spoke to loads of people really really friendly people on this uh, ticket so far uh, the head bailiff seemed really really or head bailiff and fishery manager seemed uh, yeah very knowledgeable very nice chap happy to talk for well, as long as I wanted really and uh, give me advice and places so uh, I can't wait I can't wait two weeks time is gonna be my first time here first time on on any of the Farnham waters and I cannot wait so yeah as always thank you very much for watching hope this will uh you know help some people maybe and obviously in the coming months and year fishing these waters might be able to help some other people that are going to be fishing these waters or even thinking about fishing these waters so um yeah can't cannot wait cannot wait so yeah thank you very much for watching please like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you on the next one